Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you are new to here and want to learn about the food processing technology, please hit the subscribe followed by the bell. Do you know 1.3 billion tons of edible food equivalent to a third of global production of food wasted annually by the world? It is enough to feed 3 billion people in the world. So we need to preserve our foods. Hurdle technology is an integrated approach of basic food preservation methods for creating safe, stable, yet nutritious foods. So let's talk about the theory behind the hurdle technology. First, let's see what is the hurdle technology in food preservation. Hurdle technology means combining various bacteria inhibiting or bacteria killing factors to achieve a safe product with acceptable shelf life and an acceptable taste and consistency. Hurdle technology is quite old. The combined use of multiple preservation methods including physical, chemical, biological factors has been practiced for centuries around the world without clear scientific understanding. In recent years, the concept has been applied continuously based on the improved understanding of the main factors governing food preservation, such as pH, temperature, water activity, and in particular, their influence on microorganisms occurring in raw materials, ingredients, and finished food products. So why we need hurdle technology? The concept of hurdle technology fits well with the present consumer trend for minimally processed foods. Hurdle technology provides a framework for expert integration of individually mild preservation factors that in combination achieve enhanced product quality while maintaining food safety and stability. In food processing, commonly used hurdles are low or high temperature, low water activity, oxidation reduction potential, competitive microorganisms, preservatives, and pH. Potential emerging hurdles are ultra high pressure, modified atmosphere packaging, bacterial sinks, and edible coatings. Hurdles in food processing can be categorized as physical hurdles, physiochemical hurdles, microbial derived hurdles, and other hurdles. Examples of physical hurdles are high or low temperature, UV radiation, modified atmosphere packaging, etc. Examples for physiochemical hurdles are pH, EH, salt, oxygen, carbon dioxide, etc. Antibiotics, bacterial seeds, protective culture, and competitive flora are some examples for microbial derived hurdles. Examples for other hurdles are monolaurin, free fatty acids, and chlorine. Monolaurin is a non-traditional antimicrobial agent that possesses better antimicrobial activities but causes no health problems to consumer but its use is still limited. Lowering the pH in foods inhibit the growth of pathogenic bacteria but lowering beyond the required limit can also impair the taste. We can categorize foods according to their pH range, so we can maintain pH of foods by using different chemicals. Here you can see that bacteria grow best in neutral acidic conditions and most bacteria growth is inhibited in very acidic conditions. Therefore, preservation can be done by lowering the pH. For that, we can use acids such as citric acid, malic acid, tartaric acid, benzoic acid, lactic acid, and propionic acid. Water is required for the growth and metabolism of microorganisms. 
part all the water in food is not available for microorganisms. The degree of availability of water is measured by the water activity. According to the water activity foods can be categorized as high moisture foods, intermediate moisture foods and low moisture foods. Here you can see most spoilage bacteria are growing 0.9 level of water activity. Foods such as fresh vegetables, meat, milk and fish are more susceptible to microbial spoilage as their water activity is higher than the 0.9. So we need to use other hurdles to preserve those foods such as sterilization. For foods such as dehydrated fruits and vegetables, water activity can act as a hurdle to preserve them. We can use low or high temperature as a hurdle in food preservation. Pathogenic microorganisms can be destroyed above boiling temperature and growth of pathogenic microorganisms can be stopped at refrigeration and freezing temperatures. Foods can be contain highly oxidized and highly reduced substances. Aerobic microbes need oxygen to grow, so they need oxidized substance. In other words, they need positive redox potential. And anaerobic microbes can grow negative redox potential. And facultative anaerobic, that means yeast and mold, can grow in both conditions. So we need to control this according to our requirements. As an example, solid meat and cheese product have negative redox potential that means more susceptible for anaerobic microorganisms. Fruit juices and minced meat kind of products have positive redox potential that means more susceptible for aerobic microorganisms. So accordingly, the susceptibility we can choose other hurdles for the combination. Modified atmosphere packaging also can be used as a hurdle. MAP is based on altering the composition of gases in contact with the food by replacing the air in a sealed food package by strictly controlled gaseous mixture containing carbon dioxide, nitrogen or others. MAP can be an additional hurdle to improve the shelf life of sensitive foods. The whole mechanism of preservation of food by using the concept of hurdle technology is comprised of various responses those are given by any microorganism. The whole phenomenon can be understood by homeostasis, metabolic exhaustion, stress reactions, multi-target preservation. Tendency of any organism to maintain its internal status is known as homeostasis. The homeostasis of microorganisms play a key role in food preservation. If any of the hurdles used in food disturb the homeostasis of the microorganisms, they will not be able to multiply and will remain constant in number or will die before re-establishment of homeostasis. Therefore, food preservation can be achieved by disturbing the homeostasis of microorganisms temporarily or permanently. As a response to the hurdle applied to foods, microorganisms try to repair their hemostasis, use up all their energy for this and become metabolically exhausted. This leads to an auto-sterilization of such foods. The foods which are preserved with the concept of hurdle technology are microbiologically stable and become safer during storage at ambient temperature. The microbes can respond better to the hurdles at ambient temperature that, than at refrigeration and become metabolically exhausted. As the response of various hurdles, a stress shock protein is 
generated by some bacteria. This stress protein may hamper food preservation and could turn out to be problematic for the application of hurdle technology if only one hurdle has been applied. If different stress are received by the microorganism at the same time, the activation of genes for the synthesis of stress shock protein which help organisms to cope with the stress situation would be difficult. Synthesis of many stress shock protein due to simultaneous exposure to different stresses will be very energy consuming and would lead to metabolically exhaustion of the microorganisms. A combined effect could be achieved by the hitting various targets within the microbial cell by using different hurdles simultaneously. This disturbs the homeostasis of microorganisms present in several respects. In this case, the replenishment of homeostasis and activation of stress shock protein become more difficult. Therefore, simultaneous application of different hurdles in a particular food would lead to optimal microbial stability. So, these are the basic things you should know about the hurdle technology in food preservation. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for videos just like this and hope to catch you in next time. 